This is a T87 TCU. It uses SPC564 chip. And here are the JTAG ports here. So to connect the Unink NT, uh, we can connect the pins like so. Uh, Unink NT 1.49 now supports this device. And I'm going to show you in this video how to program uh, the device with the Unink NT. First, let's power on. Uh, let's connect the Unink NT and power on. The the amperage of this device is about two uh, zero point two amps. Uh, before I could detect, so we need to use one point four nine, and we can go to here, select the T eighty seven. Eighty-seven, T eighty-seven. I and and if we look at the configuration now, we have uh, created this called uh, sub protocol E two hundred Z four. So the CPU is SPC five six four, which means is Z four family. Okay, so now let's hit detect. And by the way, this one was censored and the password is known here. So we put password in here and now we can detect the flash. Uh, let's do a backup. Compared to 5675K, uh, this is a bit slower and here are the the flash we read we can read twice to make sure we have a good connection as well we have a good backup it's about seven seconds to read the entire four megabyte this is a four megabyte flash and there's no data flash it's only code flash so we do have a good backup we can save it and here we save it now we want to be able to erase and program so we can say i want to erase it and please note this device, when you start erase, you will see the program spot is very slow at the first, but if you look at the LED here, it's blinking. So each LED blink shows a one second uh, erase. And now you see the program spot started showing up. If you see like it's stuck there and no progress, take a look at the LED. So sometimes the sector is bigger, then it will take longer to, to erase. This, I believe we need to take about two minutes to, to erase. So it's erased at one minute and 20 seconds. Now we have added a button here called blank check and we can use this button to say if it's blank or not. So yeah, it is blanked. If it's not blank, then it will show something different. So now I'm going to uh, program it uh, instead of re you know if i click this button it will erase again we should take one minute and uh, one and a half minutes so i'm going to use slow program which is c flash and we can see it's not as fast as the 5675k because of some special uh i found in this device so it's not as fast but they it's still doing there and it's four megabytes so it takes a while to program
Okay, it takes about one minute and six seconds. It takes longer to erase than to program. And let's see if we have program properly. Good. So in all 1.49 now support SPC564 and another uh, chip, which is SPC5602P. I'm going to make another video to showing this version can support the other device.